Today's installment of Off Their Media, we will be discussing the Lakers off season and how I think they will finish in the 2023-2024 NBA season. The Lakers 2022-2023 season went as follows. They finished the year with a 43-39 record with 7th in the West. They made the playing tournament and they reached the conference finals, but ultimately got swept by the Denver Nuggets with a 4-0 sweep in the conference finals and they had a 3% chance to make the playoffs after starting the season off with a 2-10 record. The Lakers offseason this year was a big one. They re-signed Austin Reeves to a 4-year, $56 million contract and also re-signed Rui Hachimura to a 3-year, $51 million contract and they brought back DeAndre Russell on a three-year, $37 million contract. I think those three accusations of re-signing those players will help the Lakers ultimately in a big run. And they also signed Gabe Vincent to a three-year, $33 million contract and brought in Jackson Hayes for a two-year, $4.6 million contract and Cam Reddish on a two-year, $4.6 million contract alongside Torian Prince on a one-year, $4.5 million contract. And they also drafted Jenna Huchufino with the 18th pick in the 2023 NBA draft this uh, season. I think the Lakers definitely had the biggest offseason of any NBA team this year. And ultimately, they will be a way deeper team than they have been in the past. And the chemistry with the team will ultimately be a good thing. And definitely, the moving pieces that they normally used to have hasn't they have a form of stability now, and I think the Lakers will do just fine. Now, on the Austin Reeves, I think he'll definitely have one of the biggest years this year after getting paid, and hopefully he won't have like the Jordan Poole effect in the sense that he will dwindle in his stats and his shooting percentage, but I definitely think the Lakers did the right thing by bringing back Austin Reeves, who will help the Lakers make a big playoff run and also bring off the pressure of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. LeBron James announced at the ESPYs that he is returning for his 21st season, which will be amongst one of the longest tenures in an NBA career. LeBron James has averages of 27 points a game and 8 assists and 5 rebounds. If I have those stats wrong, you can see the correct stats he played on the screen is watching the video. But with LeBron James, he is entering his 21st season, and as you know, he is getting older with age, entering this season becoming 38 years of age and as of last season he eclipsed the most points in the NBA career and passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and got the NBA record and I think that was great for LeBron's legacy and his career. Now with the Los Angeles Lakers can he exceed and keep up the dominance that he has had with his NBA career so far? I think so in a way yes if he stays healthy and if he knows when to push himself to, you know, pace of the season as the season goes on longer. Ultimately, I think his dominance comes down to Anthony Davis, which we'll get into the next part of this video. Because if Anthony Davis stays healthy, then I do believe that LeBron James can continue his dominance because he doesn't have so much pressure on him to carry the offense, carry the defense. You know, he can rely on AD. But if AD doesn't stay healthy, then LeBron James will have to carry the offense more than he wants to at his old age of him getting older. Anthony Davis has played a total of 194 games for the Lakers out of 328 total games that he could have possibly played. Anthony Davis has been a dominant force for the Lakers over the four seasons that he has been with them and ultimately helped them win the championship in 2020. But, of course, there has been issues with Anthony Davis as he has only played 60% of the total amount of games that he could have possibly played with the Lakers and because he is known as the glass man. He has been injury prone for the Lakers in certain important parts of the season and ultimately this has made the Lakers struggle during the regular season. Now, have they gotten to the playoffs in most instances? Yes. 
but they have gotten to the playoffs with a lower seeding and ultimately didn't help their case to win the NBA championship when facing tougher opponents and not having AD there. So I believe if Anthony Davis can stay healthy, then he will be able to carry the Lakers once LeBron retires and once LeBron leaves. I believe that Anthony Davis is a dominant force in the league and he can become one of the top five centers or if he is not already a top five defender in the NBA. He's known as a top five defender in the NBA. I think he still has that in him, but he has to stay healthy in order for the Lakers to continue and win another championship while LeBron is still on the roster. And if he can be able to help pass the torch when LeBron leaves, and it's his team now when LeBron eventually leaves and retires and goes to another team. Overall, I believe the Lakers can at best make it to the Western Conference Finals again and finish with their fifth seed in the Western Conference. I do believe that ultimately it comes down to LeBron James and Anthony Davis, but more importantly, it comes down to their role players being able to hit their spots at the right time, making their shots, and be able to help on defense. And I do believe that the Lakers have a much deeper roster, as I stated before in the video, but ultimately, Time will tell what happens to the Los Angeles Lakers this year, but I do believe overall that they have had the best NBA offseason of any NBA team, and I think the Lakers will be just fine and hopefully win another championship with LeBron James on the roster. And I know I'm a big Lakers fan, and I'm not really being biased, but I just think that a worst-case scenario for them, they will end up being like a 7th or ninth seed and make the playing tournament, but ultimately lose out and LeBron James would just leave and go to another team and team up with LeBron James as he has stated that he wants to do in many times. But ultimately, I do believe that the Lakers can win another championship with the roster that they have constructed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you'll come back and watch more videos as more content comes out. And if you guys missed any videos, you can click the video on the left or right. And hopefully you subscribe, like, and share the video with your family members. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.